Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Uh, Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. So, ratings for Wednesday night. What was the story? Well, Dynamite, 913,000 viewers. NXT, 658,000 viewers. A couple of the stegosauri out there. Ah! Horrible number for AEW. They never broke a million. Well, yes, you're welcome to be dumb if you want to and not learn, but I'm going to tell you what's going on here. So, yes, they did not break a million. But I'm going to tell you something about these two shows. First in terms of viewers, and then in terms of the demo. In terms of viewers, AEW, the average here, 913,000. Basically, from the moment the show went on the air... Until the moment the show went off the air, they basically averaged 913,000 viewers. They would go up a little, they would go down a little, they would go up a little, they would go down a little, but a little is the key. They were basically steady at 913,000 on average throughout the entire show. NXT opened, I forget what it opened at, 780 or something like that. And on NXT, every single quarter, they lost and lost and lost and lost, and lost, and lost, and lost. And finally, the very end of the show, when they had a ladder match, they went up a little. That's the story of the two shows. One of the shows held the audience throughout the entire show. The other show, they lost their audience throughout the show. That's number one. Now we got to look at the demo here. The AEW demo, 18-49. to And for the simpletons out there, this is the most important number. It's been the most important number since about 2001. Prior to that, yeah, in the Monday Night Wars, you didn't hear about the 18 to 49 demo. Because during the Monday Night Wars, what advertisers looked at was the total number. And at some point, they figured out, wait a second. Well, what's the most valuable demo ends up being 18 to 49. So that's been the key indicator for television since about 2001. If you don't believe me, if you like to say, well, Brian's biased towards AEW, that's why he's looking at the demo, what you should do is look at the ratings chart for television, whether it's cable, network. They're ranked, not by total viewers, they're ranked by 18 to 49, because that is, in fact, the most important. So unless you think that the Nielsen company decided, well, we're AEW fans, and so in order to help AEW, we're going to start ranking all these television shows by 18 to 49... I don't know what to tell you. That didn't happen. So, in this 18-49 to 49 demo, which, by the way, last year, AEW did so well in 18-49 to 49, that years in advance of their TV deal expiring, TNT signed them to a new and more lucrative deal because of 18-49. to 49. So, in that demo, Dynamite did a .42 rating, the best number they have done since October of 2019. That's the month they debuted. Their best number since October 2019. Meanwhile, this NXT number, they did a... I don't know what they did. It was low. Anyway, I'll find it here somewhere. But the point is, year over year, year over year, AEW's 18-49 to demo is creeping up. And year over year, the NXT demo is creeping down. Year over year, AEW has more younger viewers than they had last year at this time. NXT has less younger viewers than they had a year ago at this time. One of these shows is on the ascent. One of these shows is on a sad descent. This is the story. If you want to be a numbskull and just look at these overall numbers and say it was a big failure, they didn't hit a million, whatever, I mean, you can go for it. But there's a trend here. And the trend is one of them is going up and one of them is going down. 0.16 was the 18 to 49 for NXT. If you combine the AEW and the NXT 18 to 49, they beat Raw. If you just look at the AEW 18 to 49, they're very 
closely creeping into that third hour of Raw on TNT on Wednesdays after a year. So if you would like to say that this number was a disappointment for AW, I mean, you're welcome to be out of your mind. But what's happening here is the show is growing. They're building an audience. And most importantly, they're building a young audience. NXT is rapidly declining. And not only are they declining, but they're declining in the most important demo, in the most important audience, your young people. The show is getting older and older with each passing week. And of course, it's going the opposite for AEW. Now, obviously one of the important things is, well, what's the number going to be next week? Like, this show happened. I mean, all of you have been talking about the same thing. My God, when Sting showed up, I called all of my friends. This or that. Well, then all of these mainstream outlets were talking about Sting. And the show was trending until 3 a.m., which is long after the show went off the air. What is Sting going to mean next week? I have absolutely no idea. What's the show going to do next week? I have no idea. Am I going to sit here and say I expect to do a million viewers next week? No, I don't think they're going to break a million next week. But they may. They've clearly got people talking, mostly through the usage of Sting, but also because of this invasion angle that they're running. But those are the numbers right there, so... No bad takes in the Twitch chat, or you're out of here. I mean, let's use our brains. This is supposed to be like a intelligent wrestling television, or whatever it is. Radio? I guess YouTube television? I want intelligent commentary here. You're welcome to disagree with things, but do not be a hadrosaur. I will not stand for it. Any comments, Mike? <laughs> oh, after that, you're going to throw it to me? Well, I'll try to live up to your lofty expectations here. How come you're Where's always not- mad when I throw to you? <laughs> Would you rather I just kept talking for 20 minutes and all these people are going to cry that you never get to talk? I always set myself up for it. You're about two and a half minutes short here of the break. But, uh, I mean, what else more can you say or anybody else say, regardless of what you think about the product? Either show is presenting. The bottom line is, with the exception of the first quarter, AEW doubled NXT 18-49 to 49 in every single quarter. They are just obviously... Dude, I hate to interrupt. Good. Do you realize that in quarter seven, AEW had more 18 to 49 viewers than NXT had total viewers? So as I was saying, no matter what you want to think about the product that's being presented on on either channel, the results are inarguable. And the best anybody can do right now who wants to plant their flag for NXT is to say, well, they didn't get a million. That's the best anybody can say. Forget it. Doesn't matter. They are going in two opposite directions, and it is by their own hands. Now, we'll see what the results are going to be next week. But, as I've talked about a lot here, AEW cannot worry about NXT. They have nothing. NXT has nothing for them to offer as far as competition right now. Keep your eyes on gaining a million viewers each and every week. Obviously, that's going to be tough. They've had a lot of problems with it, even reaching the 900,000 level. They've hit it again. It's got to feel and taste pretty good right now. So that's all they need to be worried about. Cohesive TV, you know what it is. And and to try to get to a million people every week and to try to stay at this number every week, as we talked about last week, they're over 800,000 quite often they're certainly over 700,000 quite often NXT can't even get to 700,000 most weeks the results are inarguable regardless of what you think about the product presented the numbers speak for themselves if you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube you're missing out on full length shows down there on the bottom right hand side of the screen click that join button and when you sign up you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube over 300 at current count Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.